So we have some data here. It's not really easy to understand what this data is. So let's make it a little bit easier to understand. I'm going to right click on my first row. I'm going to insert a row and I'm going to add some headers. So this is my price. This is my quantity. And this is my total. So I have price, quantity, and total. So now I have a header row. I think that my prices should probably be in a currency value and my quantity should also be in a currency value. So we're going to go ahead and set those up and now those are formatted properly in a currency value. My quantity, perhaps I want a little bit more or less precision. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to format cells and it's going to open this up and I'm going to go ahead and make those all numbers and I can choose the number of decimal places I want. Perhaps I want one. Now that I look at that, maybe I want a little bit more precision, so I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some precision. So now I have quantity with two decimal places. This up here I can make a little clearer because I can right click and I can make those bold and center them and I'll make them a little larger. So now I've got a fairly good representation of that data, but perhaps the customer doesn't need to see anything but the totals. So I'm going to take column A and column B. I'm going to right click on those and I'm going to hide them. So now my, my data is not going to change. My totals are here and you'll see that these are all formulas. So they're based off of those hidden columns. I could easily go back and I can select these again and I can unhide all those columns and make whatever changes I need. And if I go in here and I just type in 15, it formats the data appropriately. So that's where we're going to do some formatting with that right click and actually build out some of the data that we need. You'll also notice that if I go up here and I right click on my tabs, what's going to happen is I can customize my quick access toolbar. I can show the quick access toolbar below the ribbon instead of above the ribbon. So I can actually move that down here. I really don't like that. So I'm going to put that back to where it actually goes. I can right click on any of um, my different options down here and I can add them to the quick access toolbar or I can customize that toolbar. I can also choose to collapse the ribbon or customize the ribbon. So if I, if I collapse the ribbon, what you're going to note is as I go through the tabs, the ribbon will appear and when I'm working, it will go away. This annoys me greatly. So what I do is I always make sure that I come over here and I click on this little pin. That way my ribbon is always showing. Some people like it, some people don't like it. I prefer to see the ribbon while I'm working. Now if I come down here and I right click on my sheet, you'll notice that it's going to change again. It's going to give me the options to manage sheets. I can hide sheets. I can protect sheets. I can change the tab color. I can rename the tab. So all of the features that you would need to manage your sheets. And if I come down to the status bar here, and I right click on it, you're going to see that I get a number of options here. So NumLock, we discussed that a little bit earlier, but if we turn this on or off, you're going to note that the NumLock down here is turning on or off. What that's going to do by having that on is when my number lock is turned on, it's going to tell me my number lock is turned on. I don't have a light on my keyboard to tell me that, so that's actually a very important feature to me. We have macro recording, recording turned on, we can turn that off, and now the macro recording is not there. If it's turned on, it gives you the status of macro recording. These are all your calculation fields, so you can actually click on them. You'll notice if they're not turned on, what happens is they end up showing up in here. So we'll turn these on and we'll see what that actually does. I have all of my calculation fields turned on. So if I were to select this column, what we're going to see, right, is we have an average value of $5.13. There are 33 cells containing data. There are 32 of them that are containing numerical data. The minimum is $1.25, the maximum is $9, and the sum is $164. This is just a very easy way for you to see what data is in your rows or your columns. So if we click on two, we'll see the same thing. Average 217, count three, numerical count three, min, max, and sum. So these are all great things that you can do to adjust how your Excel works for you and what's important to you. You can very quickly Go up here and adjust your ribbon, adjust your toolbars, um, format data, all of these things. And of course, again, this makes a lot more sense when you're collapsing this ribbon. So if I collapse the ribbon, you're going to know 
that when I right click, this, this formatting bar is not visible anywhere else, so it makes it a lot easier to deal from here. Perhaps I wanted to change this font color to red. I can do that directly from there, and you can see how all of that works. This is just a short overview of the context menus or right-click menus in Excel. You should explore and see everything that it has to offer.